So I, I, you know, I don't get this trend lately of all these idiots buying 4K TVs and 4K monitors. I, I don't, I don't really understand it. I mean, if you want something in a different color, I don't know. The point is, if any of you remember the days of CRT monitors, resolutions used to scale up with the monitor along with frequency. A lot of people kind of forget that you can do the same thing with your LCD monitor. I mean, I look up close to it and yeah, there's big pixels. But that's nothing to do with the monitor itself. All you have to do is properly set it up and you can switch it to 4K mode. What you have to understand is that when LCD monitors came out, they had really high resolution. But before they put it out to market, they, they had found that users just didn't know how to scale it back. And you gotta remember, when LCDs were out in the market, computers were way behind what they were today. And if somebody was trying to drive a 4K display, they wouldn't be able to do anything on their computer. The, the CPU wasn't there, the GPU wasn't there, you just have a static screen and who knows if that even worked. So they found that they had to enable some unique out-of-the-box features to prevent the resolution from getting up this high. Nowadays, it seems like we've forgotten that, and we're just buying whole new monitors that have all these restrictions lifted. And don't forget that 4K is also a restricted mode because most people wouldn't be able to drive an 8K display. So today I'm gonna show you and reveal the secrets of this market. I've got my monitor here. I've shown you that the resolution is not too high. It's an older monitor, but I'm gonna show you how we can bump that up. First thing we're gonna do is start to open up the monitor. Ah, man, this is taking too long. Pull out the Dremel, nice and easy. And we'll pop the back off. I don't really know why I did that because we're gonna flip it back over. We're gonna have to pop the frame on the front off. And there you have it, the nice display. Let's go ahead and remove the cover on it. And you'll notice this filter. And this is the real issue, this filter. As you notice, this is the filter that causes the image to degrade. I'm going to put it up, and as you see, it's not that great. Maybe you can even see the individual pixels. If I remove it, oh, cool, everything looks clear. Put it back on, oh, not too great, right? Now, that's what's causing the issue with the image. So, with this removed, with this filter removed, we unlock the potential of the monitor. I do remember that the image is quite not going to be so clear yet because we also have these documents that are on the monitor. This is an older monitor, so you know, the same way that you'd clean an air filter in a car, uh, you gotta get this gunk out of it. It's just the remnants, kind of like the ghosts of prior documents found on your computer. Just toss them out, no problem. Now what we're left with is with the 4K module. This itself is your untarnished, pristine image. Look at it, fantastic, isn't it? If you want the highest quality image that you're ever going to get on your screen, and I guarantee that you will never get a screen that's higher quality than this, to go beyond 8K quality, you're going to have to remove the 4K panel. It's a large panel, but it's an incredible filter. Now we've removed that panel. And as you see now, you can see images on the screen in the most pristine quality that exists. The image is so clear that I cannot distinguish it with reality. It's absolutely amazing. Man, that's a, that's a good image. 